Hi everyone. Well, we've been talking motor gearbox units for the past four or five years here at the Eurobike Show. Uh, obviously the hot topic at the moment is the new pinion drive, but we're gonna give you guys an insight into 10 or more new e-bike motors here at the show. And not only that, we've had a chance to ride them, so we can give you a genuinely first-hand impression of what they feel like to ride. Now, before me and Adam uh, dive into the motors, remember we're, we're going to be riding motors and motor gearbox units. Now, a question I get asked most of all is what's my favorite motor? Generally, guys, I actually love riding all e-mountain bike motors. Uh, actually, one that I started off on uh, in the early days was the Rocky Mountain, 108, 108 newton meters. So if you're after a climbing machine, check that one out. You all wanted some feedback on some of the motors and drives here at Eurobike. So I've managed to get my hands on the Crossworks bike. Now this is a prototype, uh, 130, 140 mil travel. Uh, a few of the details, uh, it's the Bosch SX motor in there. They've got the Gates carbon drive and the classified power shift two-speed hub on the back. So it's a two-speed bike, um, 400 watt hour battery in the down tube, full aluminium. Some of the numbers on it, uh, 64 head two bangle, 78 seat two bangle, 447 chain stay, 335 mil bomb bracket height. So pretty low, really, I'd imagine it'd be a really good cornering bike out in the dirt. Um, my first impressions, eh, <laughs> Pretty ludicrous to get on an e-mounted bike that simply doesn't make any noise at all. It's uh, it's pretty bonkers, actually. I've got a couple of phone clips of my first impressions when I got on the bike, and uh, I was quite taken aback by that the fact that it doesn't make any noise. Slightly nervous. This is uh, my first ride on the Crossworks with the Bosch SX motor, uh, classified power shift hub and the uh, Gates carbon drive. So uh, I'm really excited, uh, but a little bit nervous at the same time <laughs> in case it goes badly wrong. Okay, so here we go. Wow, there's actually no noise. Um, the classified shift button is on the handlebar there. It's so discreet, it's crazy. Um, I guess the question is, can you deal with a bike that's only got two gears? Uh, I think, the low gear is super low, so obviously on steep climbs, I think I think it's going to work. Remember, this is the the Bosch SX motor, which is the lower power motor, 55 newton meters. But when you get that spin in at 120 RPM, you'll get the same uh, same power, same 600 watts as you do on the CX motor. Um, I'd like to ride it in in technical terrain to see how it gets on, but as a bike which you used to kind of winch up the fire roads and do the descending because the angles on this bike are a proper sort of gravity-based angles on it. Um, I think it's the silence more than anything else. I think, uh, obviously, you guys have been talking about the fact that, you know, we, you want to see more bikes without a rear derailleur. Um, it hasn't got multiple gears, true, but I think as a step in the right direction, for sure. Well, at your request, we have actually ridden the new Pinion uh, motor gearbox unit uh, here at Eurobike. Uh, we've ridden it on the, on the Simplon mountain bike, we've ridden on the Flyer uh, sort of urban bike. Now, we've been coming to Eurobike for many years. We've uh, seen the motors from FEV, from Ravonte, uh, from Mubea, and we've actually ridden the Valeo bike in the mountains uh, above Verbier. Definitely some work to do on that system. Yeah, fantastic, uh, I like it. I mean, the guys at Fit E-Bike Systems who have been working in collaboration with Pinion on this, definitely know this stuff when it comes to e-bike systems. Um, love the whole maintenance-free stuff. Uh, not so bothered about unsprung mass. Noise, pretty quiet. Uh, four, four kilos does it matter? Well, probably doesn't on, on, a, on an urban bike like this. What I want to know is, you know, what's the range going to be like in the mountains? How is it going to tackle dirty, horrible conditions in Welsh and Scottish bogs? Um, but yeah, I mean, as you guys have pointed out, it's definitely a step in the right direction. So let's see how things go, right? So as you guys can hear, this bike is super quiet. Gear changing. I mean, yeah, there's some steps in it, but very smooth. Just looking at the controls, I mean some people might say the controls are a little bit urban, but on uh, different bikes there's going to be different units. As I mentioned, the guys, Evie and the guys are fit. Evie was a pioneer when it comes to e-bike systems. It's only going to improve, that's for sure. But as you can hear the sound on it. Ooh. Oh, that was a bit of a chunk. <laughs> Sorry about that guys. So what you heard there, guys, was 
bit of a chunk when I shift it under load. So Steve and I mentioned on the show, this is my first Eurobike, and the thing that's blown me away the most, apart from all the incredible stuff here, is in this test area, it's 80%, if not more, are all on e-bikes, let alone e-mountain bikes. So we talked about hybridizer on the show. They've got some interesting things on their bikes. So they've got adjustable dropouts, change your wheel size, along with a flip chip. But, you know, we've mentioned all the details on the show. Um, the thing that's interesting about these guys is they're starting in the European market, probably September, October time. Currently only available in China, but 4,999 euros starting price, it's, it, that's a really competitive price. So keep your eyes peeled on these guys. I think there's a lot of interesting things to come. Okay guys, we're on the hybridizer with the Profound 510 motor. Great angles on this bike. 95 newton meters of torque, 720 watt hour battery. Wow, this Profound motor is really sweet. 95 newton meters of torque, 720 watt hour battery in the down tube. I think this Bafang is possibly one of the most underrated motors in the world. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, I'm a bit scared. Uh, 100 newton meters torque and 1500 watts. Am I going to be okay on this? So folks, just need to point out this is a throttle activated bike and not, what's well, light, not allowed to be used um, in European countries, but I'm in a private car park and, oh God. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's just crazy. I mean, this is just shameless behavior. The shameless behavior. Everyone wants more power, right? Well, if you want more power, get one of these. I tell you, I've ridden some kits. This takes the biscuit. Whoa! <laughs> so basically, it's a, it's a bolt on kit, uh, 2,000 euros. The guys are from near Stuttgart. Um, it's belt driven, you've got some wheels in here, it's kind of like a roller coaster thing. Now, actually, Ray, uh, Ray the oh, me mechatronics uh, genius, has been telling me for a long time that this is actually a system that could work. Um, the kit comes with the disc, with the motor, and the battery. Um, I'm impressed, actually, I'm really impressed. So had a go on this Econix One, and it's got the Polini MX motor. Now, something that's special about Polini, we talked about this on the show before, is that it's serviceable entirely. You can get every single part to replace. It's been doing the rounds on the Folger bike, but it's also been showing its worth on the racing scene with Marco Melandri, and it is doing some rounds. Meanwhile, I found this pink bike from Leader Fox with the Panasonic GX Ultimate motor in it. Now, you guys want to know about power, power. Well, 95 newton meters, possibly sits alongside the Bosch CX Race Limited Edition motor in terms of punch. It's a great motor, and again, I'd like to see it on more bikes, please. Well, we have pleasure of being joined by Mr. Marcus Stork. Uh, Marcus, beautiful bike you have here. Thank it's got, you, got the ZF motor in it. Uh, now, ZF are known for making gearboxes for BMW, Porsche, and Audi. 112 Newton meters uh, in this motor. But um, Marcus, did you say that your bike with, with that super powerful motor is 20 kilos? I, I was uh, joining four times the e-bike world championship. And over the years, I went from Shimano to this motor. So in the first years, I was more in the back row of the finish line. And uh, last year, I was riding that bike. And on top of the mountain, I was on place number two. Whoa. Then on the descent, uh, I took it a little bit more careful because it was really uh, a hard course. And I finished 21 overall and in the age group uh, quite well. Wow, congratulations. Um, so we're are we going to see you at some E Enduro World Cups this year, maybe? Uh, no, uh, not because we don't have a team yet. So please, if somebody wants to have the bike on the team, let us know. We can work on that. Uh, what, what we did is uh, it's very complex to build such uh, a powerful motor into a bike, not only for the durability, but also for the space, because it's slightly larger than a Shimano or a Bosch system. 
but it's actually from the power, it's, it's a pure game changer. If you have that much more power, uh, you are going up with 25 constant speed uh, uphill. So on my home course, I am having an average speed of 32. Whoa. Well, actually, Marcus, you know what? I want to take a quick spin on the yeah. bike. Thank you. Wow. Now, the shape of this stalk is great. Uh, obviously, visually, it's pretty stunning. But please, can somebody tell me why there are not more bikes with the Zax motor on it, like 112 newton meters? The engagement is super crisp. I mean, it's got a reassuring sound to the motor. I mean, it's not it's not like super noisy. Really. It's just got that just got that nice metallic-y feel to it. Um, a big fan, e adrenaline, big fan. Okay, guys, we're giving you this as it happens. So I've not put my leg over the Intradrive orange bike yet. Um, you can see the display, controller on the handlebar there, very discreet. So um, here we go, first reactions. I'm still trying to work out how it works. <laughs> Uh, okay, folks, I'm not going to comment on the noise. I'll let you guys work that out for yourselves. Hopefully the mic will pick that up. Remember, this is a pre-production motor from Intradrive. But like I said, super easy on the gears. It's just definitely not as quiet as that pinion drive. So there you go, folks, another company which is on the right tracks to bring you guys a combined motor gearbox. I think the dimensions of this are certainly in the right direction. Super compact. Wow, that was a very interesting few hours uh, on, on a multitude of motors at the back there. Yeah, it's more than I can count, I think. So it's, uh, it's crazy to see, but we can talk about them all day. But we'd love to hear what you guys have to say. So please leave comments down below with any questions or thoughts on these motors. But Steve, yeah. what, what was your favorite? Yeah, I mean, yeah, just, just on that, you know, we can really dive into the fine detail of the products we've ridden these last few hours. Uh, the question, yeah, for me, I'd like to see more of that Crossworks action. I think there's a lot more mileage in that. Two speed, yes, but uh, it was so quiet. But I think one motor, which we are super interested to ride is the, the unit at the heart of the new Gas Gas bike. So hopefully we'll bring that news to you very soon. Thanks for joining us. Gas Gas, see you in a bit.